Yeah, I've got the final part of this zapper. Um, yeah, this is a Patreon request from Ivan. Uh, at the last part, we ended with an insane solo. But to be fair, it's an insane solo. But to be fair, probably ranked mid-table when it comes to Zappa solos. But yeah, it was insane. Um, but yeah. Let's, uh, let's go. Skipped it. I stopped it before the end of the track. I um, I love his like watching him control the band. It's uh, and you like especially something like that because you could really follow what he was like conducting. But yeah, that's what <laughs> much or talk to you very much however you prefer it we're gonna go on now with an elaborate event it starts off with a um, sort of a march and then it goes into sort of a waltz and then it goes into sort of a tango and then it goes into a sort of a trombone solo and then it builds up to a frenetic conclusion and then we stop you ready we're, we'll do join the march, medium tempo, and then pick it up when you get to Father Oblivion. Okay? But, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. join the march and eat my starch. to Zappa's band is second to none. They really get such a nice, funky feel behind, like, everything. It's just so, yeah, between the bass and the drums of every single um, version of Zappa, he always has just that, that core is just so, yeah, just perfect. See what I mean? The switching and
so many points I've got to stop at. She's fire too. My boy George Duke in the back. He's fire. I don't think I've ever seen, I think that's a violin, but I've never seen anyone or heard anyone play it quite like that. He is, yeah, between him, George Duke, Zappa, and the girl on the xylophone, because she's just fire. Um, but yeah, they've got to be standout performances. But yeah, that's great.
da página. To be fair, all of his band play instruments like you've never heard them played. And they can make sounds of, out of them that you've just... I don't even think the instrument's actually meant to make that noise. Like some of the things he was doing on the violin, and some of the things he's been doing on the um, trombone, it just sounds like a completely different thing. It sounds more like an effect than an instrument. There was also something in the background, but literally as soon as I noticed it, it kind of went. But it was like a shh, like it was like a, I don't know. But it was like giving a real eerie, like haunted fairground vibe, like abandoned, haunted, fair, fair, like just, yeah. But it was this weird ghostly noise, but I couldn't quite... I couldn't work out if it was xylophones or I couldn't work out what it was to be fair. But yeah, let's keep going. Please tell me as well, who does he look like? Because I know who George Duke looks like. I was trying to think of that. Who does he remind me of? And it's the matey from Carlito's Way. Um, he's his mate in Carlito's Way, the one that sells him out at the end. Um, I can't think of his name. But yeah, that's who George Duke reminds me of. But who does, who does he look like? He looks like someone I can't think who it is. But let's go. Even the crowd is insane.
file. They say like music is the reason why music's so um, grabbing to people is because it's it's literally like a metaphor for life or for like a society or for any kind of form of life because it's different things running together at the same time in harmony. Um, but Zappa's music, I was thinking, it's kind of like an underdog movie. Um, take like a Rocky film it's kind of like that in in that like there's moments where they're together and then it falls apart and it literally feels like like um, s s uh, bolts bursting from a ship or or springs coming out of a clock like it just all they all like all the instruments start to separate and fall around and if you think about it in terms of a movie it's like how you watch a movie of an underdog and there's like back and forth throughout the whole film of where they have their shit together and then it goes and they have like it all falls apart for them and then they get it back and it all falls apart again and then in the end you end up with like with the kind of they like that are moment of like this person is kind of a, if I don't know if that actually makes sense or not. It makes sense in my head and it makes sense in my head, but it might not make sense out of my mouth. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I was just thinking. Well, let's go. thinking as well do you know what that gives the back end it sounds like um the doors five to one baby one in five no one here gets out alive that's a tune too but it's got as 
Dum, 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 dum. Back in.
to thank you very much for coming to our concert tonight. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry we played so many wrong notes in the last part of that song. Hey, we should go back and do it again. <laughs> fire I've, I'm really impressed with the violinist I think he he stole both the second parts uh, yeah the second and third part of this thing I thought he was so fire uh, I think his way he honestly plays violin like an electric guitar so well as, as well like it yeah I thought the violinist for me stole this um cause George Duke in the big in the first part was yeah he was awesome, but he seemed to kind of chill a bit more in the next two. Like he, he wasn't as prominent. Although it does make sense, the the weird noise I was talking about obviously came from him. I don't because that's what I mean. That's how kind of little attention he kind of got after his first bit. That I kind of forgot he was even there. Like he's just in the back. Um, so fire yeah so fire and another thing to note is the Zappa think how much like Zappa gives to his band because like I say the violin has probably got the most stage center of attention time not Zappa Zappa a couple of times was playing. I didn't even realize he was playing because you're so busy listening to something else. And like at one point he was smoking a fag, and then the next minute he's playing. And I was thinking, hold on, like you could. And Zappa is so loud when he played, like when he opens up. But he was kind of like backing. He he was doing solo in, but very quietly in the background. And like I say, the violinist just took. I thought that violinist was so fire. I'm so impressed with him. So impressed with him. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's our first Zappa show. Um, and Ivan's also sent me some more too. So I will jump on some more live ones. But I, like, I want to go back and... Dirk's... I've got like two sets of Dirk requests to do. Um, so I'll probably... will fly through them. Um, there's probably two sets of like six, seven each so yeah what 12 14 songs um but yeah yeah so we'll go back to doing tracks or like single performances or whatever and then yeah i'll after a, like a little bit once i kind of get some of the more 
something like the single track requests out of the way, then I'll go back to another live show. I think Ivan sent me three, if I'm not wrong. But yeah, that's the reaction, sweet. 